Don Lebatard. It really is amazing that you're a professional broadcaster. Yep. The most famous running back in the draft, this is not his name. I feel like Ezekiel uh, Elliott, Zeke Elliott. I bailed quickly on that one. Stugatz. Hear what I did to poor Dory? Tune in every Saturday from 8 until noon Eastern for Dory and Mel with Dory Nokua and Mel. Oh, my God. Nokia? Oh, my God. There's a camera. This is the Dan Lebatar Show with the Stugatz on ESPN Radio. You ready to play our game, Kirkchen? Uh. <laughs> All right. This is good. Yes. Yes. He doesn't say yes or no. Yes. He just laughs. Yes. Does Quinn Snyder look like the upstart politician surging in the polls whose campaign collapses amid rumors of an affair with his assistant? <laughs> yeah. Great. Does Mike Budenholzer look like the guy who really needed that last sale? <laughs> Does Tony Reale look like the guy at the bar who walks up to the girl you just started talking to, asks her to dance, and then looks back across his shoulder to wink at you as he walks away with his arm around her waist? Does Christian Yelich look like the unpopular high school kid who loses control of his house party when it's crashed by Rob Gronkowski and Brian Cushing? Does Andrew Luck look like the kid who puts his mouth all over the water fountain? <laughs> Does Tom Rinaldi look like the earnest small town funeral director who comforts elderly grieving windows by widows by offering them some water served in a Dixie cup? Does Will Kane look like a preacher on television asking you at home to put your hand on the screen to receive prayer? <laughs> Does Bill Belichick's face look like his son just told him that he wants to be a professional trapeze artist? <laughs> Does Jim Irsay look like the doctor wearing a head mirror who, after a few questions, lifts out of his chair and says, well, let's see what's under the hood. <laughs> And finally, does Skip Bayless look like the guy who, after being undercover for two months, gets so excited when he finally sees his mark that he breaks cover and makes his move a little too soon and gets taken out from his blind side? Then, as he lies in the sand dying, he hears a faint voice from far away saying, Mr. Bond, welcome to Tangier. Ah! <laughs>